Hey guys, Devil Slayer here. Don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please, please leave a like. It really helps the channel out. And if not, just please leave a like. As always, Devil Slayer Productions makes the best videos. Time to get up, sleepy head! I didn't know Kenny had different heads. Ah, just another day or two. You have to get up, Kimmy! We have to prepare! Kimmy, we're leaving for our, uh, uh, seminar weekend. Duty calls! We certainly won't be having any fun this weekend. I'm a dad or away this weekend. That means something important. Oh, no! Vicky! She's here! My brain is numb with horror! You two go stall her while I think of something. No can do, Kimmy. You know we can't be seen by anyone but you! It's the rules, see? Rules? This is no time for rules. I wish we wouldn't have to follow those stupid rules. You got it. I'm betting this isn't good news. I'm betting this is really great news. But I'm not betting much. It says here that your wish broke the rules so badly that the next person to touch them will steal the wish power of the fairy stupid enough to grant such a silly wish. No! Okay, twerp. Here's how it's gonna be. I'm in charge and you're nothing. Got it? I wish Ricky didn't have that book. Well, I wish you were still in bed asleep so I wouldn't have to deal with you and your freaky, disgusting habits. We're in trouble. Now we're in trouble in Timmy's dreams. Now we're spinning around in trouble in Timmy's dreams. Whee! Serious business. It's only a matter of time before someone finds out what happens and we end up in fairy court! Yay! We get to see the judge serve a hot, creamy justice for some unsuspecting creeps! Some unsuspecting creeps! Wow! I didn't see that coming! Silence, puny fairy! Wow! I saw that coming! Gorgon Von Strangle, the most feared fairy drill instructor this side of the galaxy of really unpleasant fairy drill instructors! Don't worry, I'll talk us out of it. Order! Order! The case of the fairies versus Cosmo and Wanda is in session. All right. Cosmo and Wanda, you have been accused of losing your copy of The Rules. How do you plead? I'll plead backwards. Silence! Any plea other than guilty will be met by loud shouting and the terrifying display of my muscle tone. But I think he means it. Jorgen von Strangle, you may begin the persecution. Thank you, Your Honor. I call to the stand, little Timmy Turner. Timmy, did your fairy godparents lose their copy of the rules? Yeah, but... He says yes! The court finds the accused guilty and sentences them to 49 and a half hours of impunity service to recover the missing copy of the rules or lose their fairy license forever! Um, what was the first choice again? Hand in your wands! And your backup ones. Now, tiny fairies, you can take these training ones and get out of my sight! Forty-nine and a half hours? We'll never complete the impunity service in that time, not without our real wands! Not with that attitude! Come on, guys, we can do this! And I can do this! Ta-da! It's going to be a long forty-nine and a half hours! <laughs> training wands stink! Timmy, if we're to recover all of the pages on the rules, we really need your help! What do I have to do? Um, pretty much everything. But don't worry, we can help teach you the basics. You can use the left analog stick to move around, and the right analog stick to look around. Just remember, if you get stuck, or you're not certain, or you see something interesting, talk to us and we'll be there with some advice. Talk to us lots. Besides useful advice, we can give you all sorts of fashion tips. Try it now! Well done! You're so cool! Let's move to the next part of the training, hon! But talk to us again first! If the universe is giving you a bad point of view... It can be mean like that! You can adjust your view! Be careful on these narrow planks, hon! 
You have to get across and press that big red button. What happens if I fall off? You'll move downwards really fast. It'll be fun. Uh, until you hit the ground, that is. I love it when you talk to us. Don't you have anything useful to say? Not often, but it doesn't hurt to try. Look past the alien. Don't wake him. Yay! You did it! Oops. I guess green aliens can hear me. You better get onto that plant and escape, honey. We're almost finished. Oh, but this surface looks awfully slippery. It'll be fun, unless you fall off. Those pointy things look familiar. They're wish stars, Han. Remember? So if I get them, I can make a wish? Sure thing, Kimmy. But first you need five stars. Then you have to stand on a special wishing circle. Is that right? You do remember Cosmo. I always said you're not just a pretty face. I'm also a pretty body. So what happens now that I have five stars? You can make a wish. We can't do really big wishes, but we will be able to help. I like helping, and I like extra helping. What should I wish now? You can undo Vicky's wish, for starters. Great idea. I wish I was awake. Oh, boy. That'll be the camp bus. This is so cool. Did you pack everything? Yep, and I've got all my merit badges. Let's hope I can earn a few more. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going, Kimmy? We're going camping with the Squirrely Scouts! But what about our missing wish powers? If we don't find the rules, Jorgen Von Strangle will make sure we'll never be fairy godparents again! Wanda, I have to go to camp. Even though we're in trouble right now, I'm just a kid and I have to do what people say. Timmy Turner, get on this bus right now! You don't seem too unhappy about it! I love the Squirrely Scouts, but that doesn't mean I don't want to help you and Cosmo! And when were you two going to tell me about this trip? Squirrely Scouts is a boy thing, Wanda. You know, for boys. Is that so? Gotta go. Come on, Cosmo. Hey, Squirt. Are you ready to be humiliated? I'm ready for anything. But I don't think humiliation's in the cards. There's no way that you dumb Squirrely Scouts are going to earn more merit badges than my cream puffs this time. Who knows? I just want to have fun. See you later, Vicky. Oh, that irritating little rat. There's no way that Squirrely Scouts are better than Cream Puffs, especially when the Cream Puffs are under my control. Uh-oh! I don't like the sound of that! Oh dear! I better warn Timmy! Timmy! Cosmo! Wake up! Uh, is it tomorrow already? Quiet, Timmy! Something's happening! Wanda, what are you doing here? This is a boys camp. Yeah? So where are they? Think, tutu, tofu. Uh, tomorrow, Wanda, boys camp! The Squirrely Scouts have been kidnapped! What? What? And that's not all. Vicky has made another wish. It was too vague to tell what effect it will have, but it's likely to be diabolical. Oh, well, then that's okay. No, it's not, Cosmo. Hey, I wonder if Vicky's wish has anything to do with the kidnapping of the Squirrely Scouts. We better check this out. Thanks for the help, Sugar, but this is man's work. As a Squirrely Scout, it is my duty to rescue any of my fellow Scouts if they are captured by small girls. Paragraph 23A of the handbook. And I will prevail. I have my Squirrely Stealth skills, my fleet feet, and a pocket knife with 32 handy implements, some of which have no apparent use. Tang hut! Hey, is that you, Scotty? What happened? It was... it was horrible. They came out of the darkness while we slept. Oh, it's a good thing we sleep in our uniforms. Slow down, Scotty. Who? Who are they? Why, the, the cream puffs, of course. We would have fought, but they came so quickly, so silently. We didn't stand a chance. The cream puffs? The cream puffs have kidnapped the Squirrely Scouts? But why? I don't know. Thanks for rescuing me, man. I just wish I could do more to help. 
Vicky is camp counselor for the Cream Puffs. I wonder if she has something to do with this. Or is it something to do with that wish she made? Well, you'll have to avoid the Cream Puff patrols if you want to get much further. Use all your squirrely skills, man. Use the terrain for cover, keep out of their line of sight, and anticipate their patrol routes. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Thanks, Scotty. You stay here. You've done your part. I'll fight for you now, for all the Squirrely Scouts. I'll stay out of sight, keep to the shadows, and defeat this Cream Puff Terror. Scouts honor. It's a Cream Puff. They're girl versions of us Squirrely Scouts. Yeah, but not nearly as tough and brave and stuff, huh? So how come they managed to kidnap all the Squirrely Scouts? I better not get spotted. There may be more around. I don't want to get captured, too. Hide behind stuff, and don't run in front of her. And watch her patrol route. Let's go. Bud, they got you, too? I was asleep, Timmy. <gasps> it was horrible. Any idea why the Cream Puffs are doing this, Bud? It's not like them. Not like them at all. I heard something, Timmy. I heard one of the Cream Puffs talking. Something about badges. Oh, and a name. Vicky. Vicky? I knew it. Vicky's evil, bud. Pure evil. But I guess I gotta face her. Chuck! Timmy, you can't stay here. It's dangerous. I know. There are Cream Puff patrols everywhere. I wonder what's gotten into them. Their counselor, Vicky. She's insane, Timmy. She's using the Cream Puffs as her private army. You stay here, Chuck. I'm gonna find some way to defeat Vicky. She's my babysitter, so in a weird way, she's my responsibility. Wow, it's River Rapid. Named after the first pioneer to cross it, Charles Sterlington River. It sure does flow fast. How am I gonna get across? Uh, a wish, I guess. But we need Wanda for that, and she's still mad at me. I'm mad at both of you. How could you go to camp without me? We're sorry, Wanda. Luckily, Vicky's wish has allowed us to continue our quest for pages of the rules while we're here. Otherwise, I'd be really mad. You don't want to see that. I've seen it. It's horrible. So, you'll help me wish? Sure, Timmy. We need those pages. And you're not mad at me anymore? That would be a little too much to wish for, Cosmo, dear. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have to cross River Rapid. Well, a lot of ideas come to mind. Mind you, not to my mind. If we can cut some of those trees down, we can make natural bridges. I thought of that, kinda. Timmy, we're waiting. What? Oh, I have to wish. Uh, something to make tree bridges with, please. Wait, I feel all funny. Uh, what am I? I combine two powerful tree cutters into the ultimate tree felling device, a beaver chainsaw. A chain beaver? That's weird, but handy. Thanks, Wanda. Oh, don't thank me. I'm just doing the cutting. Stand by the tree and use Cosmo to cut it down, Timmy. Any advice for me? Oh, chew before you swallow. Hey, Marvin. Rescue is here. Jeez, Timmy, am I glad to see you. You got any intel on the ops? Anything you know about the Cream Puffs could be useful. Uh, the Cream Puffs are in a weird sort of daze. They do what their crazy counselor says without thinking, and she rules them with an iron hand. Sounds freaky, Marv. But iron hands rust, and I'm just a scout to get them wet. Joe, any news on the Puffs and Vicky? Timmy, it's out of control. She's trying to force us scouts to admit that Cream Puffs are better than we are. Ugh, I thought it might be something like that. You better get back to Camp Squirrely, soldier. Timmy, yes, Timmy! Camp Cream Puff is up ahead. The techniques you've been using up to now won't work on their home turf. We need a plan. I've got to get close to Vicky to foil her insane plans. A wish would probably be in order. We need to get into Camp Cream Puff. We could use a distraction or a decoy. An octopus. That would distract them. I don't think so, Cosmo. Hmm. What about a disguise? Good idea, Timmy. We'll make a cream puff out of you yet. 
Ignore him, Timmy. We girls will stick together. <laughs> yeah, Timmy's a girl. Samantha. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Hey, you. Who are you? Um, I'm one of you. Uh, Tamantha. Do you know a Tamantha? I don't think so. Is that a French name? I've, um, I've been on special assignment reporting directly to Vicky. She'll be mad if she doesn't hear what I have to tell her. Vicky? Mad? Come in, Tamantha, ma'am. Uh, hello? You'll have to perform the secret cream puff dance of identification to enter the Great One's tent. Um, secret dance! Wow, good you. I'll be back in a bit, okay? I need to learn a secret dance, guys. Check the tents. Maybe the captured Squirrely Scouts know something. You should rescue them anyway. Hello, a Squirrely Scout. A cream puff? That's right. Kind of. I've broken free of Vicky's spooky mind control, and I'm out to rescue you, Scouts! Cool! But what about Vicky? I've got a plan, kind of. She won't stop me, probably. Oh. Can I go now? First, I need to know the secret dance steps. I don't suppose you know anything about them. I thought all you cream puffs knew the secret steps. I, uh, was away that day at the dentist. Well, I have a step, but only one. We scouts have been memorizing one step each, as an escape plan. It's not a very good plan. Show me your step. That's slightly disturbing. Okay, run for Camp Squirrely. I'll free the other scouts once they've shown me the dance steps. Hi, I'm a rebellious cream puff looking for the secret dance steps in exchange for your freedom. How about it? I've got a step. Watch closely. Impressive. You're a slick mover. I'm gonna get out of here. Good luck, weird cream puff girl. Hi. I'm trying to foil the evil plans of Vicky, and I need steps for a secret dance code. Maybe you have one? I guess I do. Here goes. This isn't even beginning to make sense. Well, I hope things work out. Thanks for the rescue. Rebellion. Evil Vicky. Need dance step. Pardon? Look. I'm rescuing you! Give me your part of the secret dance! Ugh, dancing's so girly. But okay. Thanks! Run! And don't look back! There. Are you ready to dance the secret dance of identification? As ready as I'll ever be, but no cameras. Okay, hon. You have to dance to prove you're a cream puff. You wanted to be a cream puff. Now here's where you start paying. With sweat. Do the best you can. Follow the dance steps you learned. Keep it up! They believe you! Is that the funky chicken? You're almost there! Oh! You're very good! I didn't know you could dance! You go, girl! Friend. Hey! I made a friend! Ah, oh, the magic wore off! I was just getting used to it! Wow! Look at all these merit badges! There must be billions! Maybe not, hon! But there sure are lots! And they're all packed with wish power! Oh, it's a shame we can't suck some of it off with a bendy straw! Vicky must have wished for them, but why? I heard her wish. Let me think. What did she wish for? There's no way that Squirrely Scouts are better than Cream Puffs, especially when the Cream Puffs are under my control. I just wish I had the badges to prove it. That's it. These badges are the source of Vicky's power. She only has control of the Cream Puffs because of these wish-charged merit badges. She obviously doesn't know that the value of a merit badge lies in the fun of learning new skills rather than in showing off to others. Wow! Who'd have thought there'd be a moral to this madness? 
The more badges Vicky has, the more power she has. How can we break the wish? I hear something. Oh no, it's Vicky! Twerp! That's it. You're mine. My badges. My beautiful badges. No! Timmy Turner! Uh-oh. Maybe I better run away now. Oh no, she's gonna catch me! Think positive. She might catch you, but tomorrow's not a school day. Just keep running. Don't forget to avoid or jump over stuff. That's the final straw. I'm gonna make your life misery, Kimmy Turner! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Stop! Huh? We're sick of you bullying people, Vicky. Yeah, we don't know why we let you push us around, but it's over now! What? How dare you? But I proved once and for all that girls are better than boys! Isn't that what you wanted? You just proved that you're a greedy bully. Now leave, or you'll answer to us. <sighs> you'll pay! You'll all pay! I'm sorry I was mean, Wanda. That's okay, hon. It's not exactly an unfamiliar experience, but at least we helped Timmy find more pages of the rules. Yeah, the main thing is that we keep on being Timmy's fairy godparents. And I think we learned something today. Yeah, I learned that Timmy looks funny as a girl, and that it's really hard to get marshmallow out of your hair. I learned that girls and boys are... And that wood tastes woody, and three new uses for jello, and how to build a raft out of underwear, and how to tell which direction to go in from the color of the dirt, and how to put out a campfire using only wet socks, and that burnt wet socks are really uncomfortable, and... Hey, Shrimp! Your stupid little dark white friends are here. My friends must be Chester and AJ. We're too busy regaining our powers to play with your friends. We have to find the rules, Timmy. Our Jorgen von Strangle will live up to his name, and I hate being Jorgen. Hey, Timmy, want to play games? It's a beautiful day outside, so it's our duty as kids to stay in front of the TV. I don't know, guys. Will you brats keep it down? Oh, that's better. I wish you parasites would just go live in that stupid video game. Then you wouldn't bug me all the time. Uh-oh. Hey, check out this cool VR suit! I wonder where AJ and Chester are! Entering level, Monkeys of Doom! Who is that? That was the game, I think. Maybe she and I can have a chat! Excuse me, a uh, virtual voice lady? She's not very user-friendly. I can be friendly. Now, why do I doubt that? I can be friendly when I want! Cosmo, honey, stop taunting the virtual reality. We have work to do. Don't fall in the lava, honey. It sure is warm in here and unstable. That would be the lava, hon. Timmy, it would be best to stay out of the lava. A lava bath might be refreshing. How do you know till you tried? I think I'll follow my instincts on this one, Cosmo. I love bonus rounds. Looks like you'll have to pop inflatable targets of ninja bunnies. Why don't you try using that pointy thing on your head? Uh, okay. That should do it, dear. Yeah, pop the bunnies for prizes. Or just work off some stress. A prize! Pet. You have reached the next level. Battlestar and Arcata. Cool! We've got this game licked! You so do not! Oh, yes we do! And we haven't used any cheats! But why do your friends remain unrescued? 
She does have a point there! No problem. Chester and AJ must be around here someplace. We have to get across the water, Timmy! I know. And that's why I choose to wish for... Oh, oh! A snowmobile! A team of husky dogs! Secret Newton Snow Powers! A snowplow! Well done, Timmy! A sensible wish! Sensible? I didn't get where I am today by being sensible. Wow! A sea of information! It's probably best not to swim in it! It's possible to drown in an inch of information, let alone a sea! Hey, Timmy, this is a really cool game, but I'm a bit stuck at the moment. I'll get you out, AJ. There must be a button or something nearby. Whoa, this game is filled with traps and surprises. You're trapped now, and it's my turn to free you. Teamwork, yeah. Whoa, a hovercraft! This is awesome! I'll bet I'll have to do a challenge to free Timmy. Pass through the green gate to complete the challenge. Ha! I was right! Let's go! This is such a cool game! Right, have to go through the gates in order. Timmy, watch out for the... Ooh, ouch! Cyber bees! Ugh! Stick to the wall with pixel plasma! Gross! Don't worry, guys. I'll defeat the bees. Okay, let's see. Uh, this left-hand lever rotates me left and right, and I press the action button to shoot pixel plasma right back at him. I love mini games. Yeah! Score one for the good guys. And score two for the bad guys. That's not fair! Your complaint has been noted. I'll bet she's holding them hostage in her evil cyber penthouse of exactitude. Wow, sweetie! Big words! You must be an idiot savant! You're half right. Let's go. We've got a mainframe in need of a serious virtual spanking. Look out! It's raining data! These balls are made of information! Blah! I hate that stuff! Wow! That star sure is fast on its... ...pointy things! Okay, here's the wish. I love it when he gets that look in his eyes. The intelligent look? No, the dangerous one. I wish for a way to crash this system. See what I mean? Okay, cutie, your wish is granted. 
When you attack, you'll fire data-eating discs of doom. They love video games. Video games are the candy of the data world. Aha! A force field. Natural enemy of the guinea pig. I'm not sure about that, hon. But I think we can break through with Timmy's disc launcher. Attack the force field, Timmy! This is an ominous walkway! Don't be scared. We know exactly what's ahead. We do? Oh, that's a relief! We're in a video game. It's gonna be a huge lethal boss! Wow! This must be the CPU! Look at all this data! Ah, uh, it hurts my eyes! Watch out, Timmy! It's the central mainframe! And it has Chester and AJ! You must be the irritating kid I've been feeling in my code. I hate that stuffy, blocked-up feeling. And I hate kids! What do I do now? Confuse it by humming brass band songs! Or shoot it with your data-eating doom discs! Jump the beams and wait for your chance! game, Timmy. Yeah, can't wait for the sequel. Well, we won. Well done, Timmy. You did great. Yeah, and we found more pages of the rules. I feel more magical already. Enough games. Time for chores. Uh, see you later. Uh, see you, Timmy. Well, I could probably use some fresh air anyway. Let's go again. Let's go again. One more go can't hurt. Gee, hon, I'm not sure we've got time to read comic books! I'm not sure I'm able to read comic books. Aw, but I haven't read the latest issue yet. Maybe I could get some ideas from the Crimson Chin. Who are you talking to, lame brain? Uh, you're talking to your dumb comics? Wow, you're lamer than I thought, and I thought you were pretty lame. Hey, I'm a kid! I'm supposed to have an imagination. I wish I could spoil your childhood fun. I wish the Crimson Chin became completely useless, and I wish you were trapped in his world so you could see just how pathetic comic books really are! Uh-oh! This doesn't look good! Oh no! Vicky's wish is already coming true! The Crimson Chin is useless in this issue! Luckily, the second half of her wish hasn't worked! Maybe I should keep my mouth shut. Where have the Chin's powers gone, I wonder? Ah! Let's explore! We should probably stick our noses where they don't belong! and maybe find some stars to power up a wish, just in case! My chin senses indicate trouble at the bank! Maybe we should prepare for a wish, hon! Five stars make a wish, and wishes make for heroes! News just in, a villain with tremendous strength has raided the first bank of Cincinnati! Tremendous strength? Could this villain have the chin strength? Mm, I guess it had to go somewhere! There? The villains escaped to the other panel! We have to chase the villain, Cleft! But we'll need to make a wish first! It's clefting time! Okay, we've got a super strong villain making a getaway with the contents of Cincinnati Bank! I need to pursue him at high speed! High speed pursuit! I gotcha, Cleft! Let's activate your Cleft Copter! Are you sure about this? It doesn't look very safe! We heroes give up our safety, so that others may live without fear! I gave a fish stick to a hungry kitten once. Am I a hero? Quickly, Cleft! Think of a catchphrase before he gets away! Chin up and away! This copter's so cool! I can move left and right in the air! Cleft, those balloons! They're full of hideous stink gas! I'm gonna try to cut the ropes with my copter blade. The balloons will just float away! When you hit a balloon, catching Country Boy will get easier. The apprehendometer meter will rise. But if you miss, the apprehendometer meter will fall. And when the meter reaches the top, we win? Got it! I'm rich, and I intend to stay that way. I won't go back to jail. Sure as apples is apples. Careful! Country 
Country Boy intends to shoot you down with his sink mines! That farmy fiend! It's okay, guys. I'll just avoid his shots while I cut the rest of the balloons free. I'm rich, and I intend to stay that way. I won't go back to jail. Sure as apples is apples. Mm -hmm. I'm a gonna get me a gator farm. Mm -hmm. Flavored menace? Yeah, it would have worked too if it weren't for that ding dang darn cliff. Look, I've rescued the Crimson Chin's strength. I guess when Vicky wished his powers away, they had to go somewhere. And that somewhere was a group of low grade criminals out to make good for themselves. News! The chin is strong again! Ooh, ouch! I wish I hadn't seen that! Well, that's one villain defeated! Ah, nice work, Cleft! Now what? We're going to need more wish power! There must be more wish stars around here somewhere! Let's search around! Only one more star to find till wish time! Yeah! Is there trouble at City Hall? It seems likely! There usually is! Let's power up for a wish! Preparation is the first rule of doing good! Mm, my cleft is tingling! I sense that something is wrong! Yeah, where's the mayor? Bad news, Captain Cosmo! The mayor has been kidnapped! Only a hugely charismatic person could dissuade such a dedicated man from his work! Not spatula woman! Can she have the Crimson Chin's charisma? And if so, can she be stopped? I'll bet she left through that open window! Arm yourself with a wish before you investigate! Never fear! Cleft is here! Let's see what's in my utility cleft! Oh! There's your chinarang! What about the chinarang? Good call, Captain Cosmo! Let's do it! Attack to hurl your chinarang! It'll knock evildoers into next week! But not literally! Right! To the window! Spatula Woman's trail leads from there! Don't forget your catchphrase! Oh, yeah, um, cleft washes whiter than white. <laughs> oh, that's some sloppy catchphrase work there, cleft. Well, here we are, in an alley. There's only one way spatula woman could go, Cap. She's not getting any nearer. Let's go! The jig is up, spatula woman. Ah, oh, cleft, you've done well to make it this far. I really ought to hire better help. Nevertheless, your heroism stops here. Justice will never rest, you utensil-wielding floozy! We'll see. You have two choices, Cleft. Join me, or become a patty beneath my mighty spatula! In your dreams, you'll never corrupt Chin Power! Think, Cleft, of how great a team we could be. Do not resist, boy chin wonder! But how? Why? Crying never pays! In the kitchen or anywhere else! I hate that the chin's powers are being misused by such vulgar villains! I blame Vicky! This is all her fault! Oh, thank you, boy chin wonder! All of Cincinnati owes you a tremendous debt! Justice is my reward, Mayor! And now, to return this charisma to the Crimson Chin! <laughs> hmm. 
With the Crimson Chin's charisma fully restored, Chinsonati once again celebrates its most popular hero. That poor, poor man. Two down! This superheroing stuff isn't so hard! That's because you've got cleft powers, Timmy. Otherwise, you shouldn't even attempt these stunts at home or any place else. Let's find more wish stars. There's one more menace to foil. I sent something troublesome within the police station. What's troubling the police station? Maybe I should find enough stars for a wish before I save the day. The overtaxed police have been humiliated by a mysterious long-legged villain. Gilded arches. I've seen him in the Crimson Chin comic book. He's evil, but rhythmically gifted. His tremendous speed! It must be the Crimson Chins! We'll need a wish to keep pace with this disco deviant! Evildoers, beware! We need a wish that will help you over the rooftops! And that can deal with those villainous goons! Ever resourceful, I, Clef, the Boy Chin Wonder, have just the thing! Sidekick fairies, please activate the Chin Grapple Glove! Sidekicks? Why, I oughta... At least he said please! Target grappling areas by looking around and firing! And press action to punch with the force of a thousand chins! Do you have your catchphrase ready? It's chin swinging time! Quick left! Grapple the helicopter! You'll have to reel it in! Pull back! I better be careful! Must lay off the pressure if the tension gets too high! Evil-doing days are over, Gilded Arches! Drat! I didn't count on the skill of the boy Chin Wonder! These powers shouldn't be in the hands of villains! It's all Vicky's fault! We should arrest her! Crimson Chin Speed is safely back where it belongs. Or maybe not so safely. So Chin, may I call you Chin? You certainly may, Anchorman, but don't talk to me! As we stand here on this historic day, Fair Cincinnati safe once more, and its dedicated protector, me, once more restored to his shining peak of chinhood! We have but one brave sidekick to thank! Congratulations, Cleft, faithful boy Chin Wonder! Thanks to your heroic efforts, these fine people are safe once more! Wow! Cleft, how did you do it? Why did you do it? What did you do? Well, you see, my babysitter stole the Chin superpowers because my godparents lost their magic powers. So then I came into the comic book to try and help and also find pages of the rules. And, uh, I'm sorry. I must have taken a blow to my head during the fighting. What I mean is, with one mighty leap, our hero was free. Guys. Ah, there you are, Cleft. Being Cleft is fun. But I feel like being ordinary, mild-mannered Timmy Turner for a while. Can you fix it? Sure thing, hon. Maybe I should have a bath. It's been three weeks. 
Hey! Some privacy, please! Shut it, shrimp! It's my job to persecute you, and I'll... Ah! There's a spider in the bath! And I guess you're scared of spiders, right? I suppose you like spiders. I guess you yucky things stick together. Don't worry, I'll rescue the spider and pop it out the window. He'll come back. This bath is so filthy, it attracts evil. I can't even look at it without getting sick. It so needs cleaning. I wish there was some way you could scrub every little nook and tiny itsy bitsy cranny. I want it spotless. Are you done with that spider yet? Jimmy Turner, you creep! Come back here and clean this bath! What has she done to me? Cosmo! Jimmy needs help! I feel so helpless. What kind of fairy godparent can't even answer a wish? Snap out of it! We may be able to wring enough power from our wands for one little wish! All right, Timmy in a can! Oh, thank goodness! Honey, your quick thinking saved Timmy! That suit should help in this deadly environment! Whoa, this armor's pretty cool. I bet it has all sorts of excellent gadgets and weapons. Well, yes, if you like cleaning, you can attack to, um, clean stuff. Oh, guess. But life-saving, thanks, guys! Well, it's a long way back. We'd better get started. And keep your eyes open for wish stars. We're gonna need them. Only got two stars. Ew! What are those piles made from, and do we have to step on them? They're made of grime. And yes, we will be leaping across them. I wonder what grime is. Grape and lime, maybe? I love this part. Wish time! Well, we have to cross chasms bridged by... Uh, uh let's just call those ropes, shall we? What's it gonna be, Timmy? I guess I wanna walk ropes like that Crimson Chin villain, Dr. Plummet. Which one's Dr. Plummet? Was he one of the Brotherhood of Ineffectual Evil? Let's just use our imaginations. Uh, guys, this isn't quite what I had in mind. Well, it's the best we can do. You'll be able to walk across automatically. You just have to worry about which direction you're walking in. How cool is that? I know you guys try. I guess I should just say thanks, but I won't. The only way is up! There's no way Timmy can make it without some help! Let's make a wish! I like being useful! We have to jump upwards! I'm not sure you can do it without a wish! And I wish for... Super Jumpy Powers! Super Jumpy Powers? Why didn't you say so? Ta-da! By utilizing the innate springiness of the Cosmo Plunger, patent pending, you can sail high into the air! Just jump as the plunger rises! See what I mean? Flickering strip lighting! We're out! We're free! Oh, Timmy, you were so great! Wow! You're the best jumping plumber in the world! What was that? You know, hon, I hate to say it, but Vicky was right! This tub is filthy! Not only filthy, it's alive! Ah! I guess I better find enough stars to make a wish before whatever made that noise finds us! Quick wish this time, sweetie! Yeah, and put some oomph in it! I don't know what's making those sounds, but it won't stand a chance against our new Sudzo Stink Seeking Fragrance Bombs! Whoa, they sound cool in a domestic kind of way! Oh, you look so handsome when you do the housework. She always tries telling me that, but I don't believe her. Ha, I'd like to see that, that thing out there frighten me now. Springtime fresh, winter white. And no unsightly giant germs! I haven't felt this clean in years! And we managed to win some pages of the rules! Who'd have thought? Whoa! Look guys! I'm growing! I must have fulfilled the conditions of the wish! And we've come closer to regaining our powers! And we outwitted Vicky by doing exactly what she wanted us to do! <laughs> Yay! Here you are! 
talking to yourself again. When is that bath going to be? All done. Time for cake. The spiders are back! Oh, man. I can't believe that Vicky has your wish power. Sorry, hon, but we'll fix it once we have the pages of the rules. Hey, twerp, why aren't you doing your chores? It's Saturday, the most exciting day of the week. I don't do chores on Saturday. You think this is exciting? It's a dull morning in a dull town. But anything could happen on a Saturday. A circus could arrive, dinosaurs might escape a nearby government facility, aliens might attack. I wish aliens would attack. At least that would be more interesting than... What's that? Uh, this doesn't look good. What's worse, having your brain sucked out through a bendy straw by aliens or being babysat by Vicky? Hmm, I guess you have a point. I've got five stars! I can make a wish! Use it wisely, sweetie! Or just have some fun! Well, I need a way to get through these beaten up houses! They are pretty wrecked. I suppose a few more holes wouldn't be a problem. We're power gloves now, Timmy! Use us to break stuff. Just punch away! That's a full five stars! My wand is humming! What are you gonna wish for this time? Surrounded by aliens, outnumbered, outgunned. This is a job for Crash Nebula! If we had enough power, we could conjure the real Crash! But we'll have to make do with Timmy in a spacesuit. Attack to activate the Justice Cannon! Rain soft billow terror upon your alien foes! They hate that! Whoa! Now what do I do? Find the control! Don't be scared, hon! What would Crash Nebula do? He find the control room, defeat... But I'm not Crash Nebula! You're better! You're real! Defeat the alien guards and take... Yeah! They won't kidnap my neighborhood! Not if I can help it! That's the spirit! Did you say something, Cosmo, honey? Take control of the ship and rescue Vicky! Rescue Vicky? Not if I can help it! Five stars! Let's wish! This is an easy one. I wish I could fly like a plane. Yeah, jetpack! I've always wanted to conjure up a jetpack. Just jump twice to start whooshing around. Uh, we don't have much power, so, um, it won't hold you up for too long. But it'll be enough. Uh, where are we? What is this? Who is this tiny Earth creature? He controls our ship. He must be a mighty warrior. You have no right to kidnap people or suck out their brains with bendy straws. Oh, <laughs> the small one appears to be challenging us. So be it. Tell the Earth Warrior of the three tests, irritating ramming guard. Tests? Yes, sir. <clears throat> to save your people, you must be as strong and fearless as are we. First test of three, a test of power. You must cross the field of flowers. What's the catch? Come on, Timmy! Let's show these oily aliens what we're made of! But not literally, honey! If flowers fail to fell our foe, we'll hide our fearful looks of woe and ask the warrior, if he's ready, to face the terror of the Teddies! This planet is really weird! I've seen weirder! How can this be? Those cute, fluffy bears give even me nightmares. Do these Earthlings know nothing of fear? Only the mighty come this far. But the toughest test of all remains... The horror of the chocolate bar! Filled with sugar, packed with pain! His rhyming pattern changed. I think he is scared, poor dear. One more test to go! Save me, my husband! I fear the Earth Warrior's cheesy grin! Hush, most glutinous queen! Our space empire stands at a crossroads! One wrong word may ruin us all! Look, I just want all the Earth people restored to exactly as they were before you invaded, okay? Why, yes, of course! <laughs> all will be restored, O oh, foulest of beings! 
And I'll have that in writing, please. <laughs> the hideous word, please, fails to burn his tongue. And now, oh noxious one, I will honor our bargain. We got home okay. Everything's back to normal and we got some pages of the rules. Yes! We saved the neighborhood and retrieved some pages of the rules. It looks like everything worked out perfectly. Or maybe not. Don't do that! Whoa! I haven't even started to annoy you yet and you're already at DEF CON 4! If you mess up my history homework, Timmy Turner, I'll kick your butt! And any other part of you my leg will reach. You don't need any help messing up your homework, Vicky. Not if these answers are anything to go by. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong! And I quote, <clears throat> Egyptian pyramids are called pyramids because of their distinctive... That's spelled wrong. Cube shape. What's wrong with that? Uh, Vicky? Pyramids are pyramids, you know, like big pointy triangles. I don't care. My answers are better anyhow, you brat. I wish you could see that history would have been so much better the way I wrote it. Uh-oh, I guess I shouldn't annoy Vicky while she's got magic powers. Now go away. My homework's all done. I get to relax with chocolate and the latest issue of Evil Babysitter Monthly. Ooh, a whole section on psychological torture. Wrong. <laughs> Me, the great Vicky. <laughs> that squirt's so out of it. It's like he's living in the past. I wonder where, uh, when I am. Cosmo, Wanda. Hiya, Timmy. Hey, good shout, by the way. Yeah, we heard you from a thousand years away. That's quite a pair of lungs you got. Do you guys recognize this place? Sure do, hon. It's medieval Britain in the time of the great King Arthur. Oh, look! There's a castle over there! Luckily, I speak ye olde English. Forsooth! Vicky wished history into a mess, then sent me back in time. I guess I should try to fix things. Let's see what she said about King Arthur. With haste, young squire. Hey, nanny, nanny, funny, lanny, lanny, money, meeny. Uh, Timmy? Good day to thee, bizarre strangers. Oh, would that I could offer more passionate greeting, but woe, mine is a soul sick with disappointment. I am called Arthur, by the way. How are you called? Usually by shouting. People are always shouting at me, from yonder and the like, forsooth. I'm Timmy. Why are you so sad? Oh, a melody afflicts me. Tomorrow's dawn heralds a great event, a sword-drawing competition. For many days have I anticipated this reverie. Yet, alas, I cannot compete, as my jealous sister has contrived to implicate me in her own naughty schemes. Verily, am I grounded. What did he say? He's sad because his sister framed him, and now he's not allowed to take part in this sword-pulling competition. This is Vicky's fault. Her homework says that the sword Excalibur was pulled from the stone by a girl. And because whoever pulled the sword from the stone became Britain's ruler, in Vicky's version we have Queen Morgana, not King Arthur. Um, thy tongue is passing strange, sir. I do not understand thee. Perhaps thine ears be filled with wax. Don't worry, Sir Arthur, sir. I'll fix this. I have a cunning plan. Fine. Something looks wrong. Why is that ground a different color? Hey, that's medieval mump grass, a powerful remedy against the oldy diseases such as gray snot and pulsing toe. Actually, I think it's probably a trap. Try not to step on it. Look, a knight. We can't let anyone else see us, Timmy. Why not? I want to show off my superior knowledge of science and philosophy and TV shows. That is right, Cosmo. We could change history just by being here. There's no point in fixing Vicky's mistakes if I'm just gonna make more of my own. 
We should be able to sneak past people if we're skillful. What you gonna wish for, Timmy? I need a way to get over those blockades. The past isn't designed for short people. How about some sort of grapple rope? No, a crossbow! How would that help? Well, it fits the medieval theme here. Oh, I wish you guys would just work it out. What did we make? It's a crossbow! With a grapple plunger. You guys are the best. We like to think so. <laughs> Look for targets. When you see one, aim and shoot. All right. Wow, Excalibur, the sword and the stone. And whoever pulls it out rules all of Britain. So what? It's tiny and it doesn't even have any moles. You're going to have to pull the sword out, Timmy. But only the true king of England can pull Excalibur out. And the people have to believe that Arthur did it. That's where our magic comes in. Yeah, we got a little more magical oomph back in this time. We can fool the sword into thinking that you're Arthur. But you have to help us. Try to pull out the sword, then keep pulling really fast to help us with our magic. Just think you're playing a video game, and you have to press the button real fast. It's like that, but totally different. I'll try once the guard leaves again. This boy, he drew Excalibur. He must be the true king of England. I must tell everyone. This guard just saw Arthur pull out the sword. The magic wore off. Timmy, don't let him see you with the sword. I've got to get the sword back to Arthur. Head for the wall. We'll never make it out through the castle. My good and faithful friend, I know not what magic transpired this day, but you have Excalibur. A guard saw me pull it out while I was disguised to look like you. Oh, don't ask. But if you take it back, you can pull it out again and prove that you're the one true king. Uh, I bear thanks to you. If I am to become king, I will have the means to well reward you. Oh, how nice! I'd love one of those big, flouncy frocks women wear here. Uh-oh, no time, Arthur, but it was nice to meet you. I feel the pull of homework. Hope you get a sensible language sometime soon. And Mouse! And watch out for that Lancelot! He's trouble! Yay! I'm king! <laughs> How cool is that? Hot! Sandy! Egypt! We're in ancient Egypt, guys! Oh, wow! Luckily, I speak ancient Egyptian. I, weird dog-headed man, little bird. That means Earth had a tough trip. Okay, Timmy, what did Vicky not know about Egypt? Well, everything's the obvious answer. But I think our main problem is the pyramids. Mickey thought they were cubes. Square pyramids? That's weird. You can stack them up a lot easier that way. So we have to convince the builders that a pyramid is the new in shape for tombs this season? That's about the size of it. Bird-headed man by a throne carrying an egg. That means let's get on with it. It's going... It probably doesn't matter if we're seen here, but the Egyptians may not be friendly. Ah, uh, can't we talk to someone? I want to try out my new words. Wanda's right, Cosmo. Let's be careful. Oh, oh, wish time! Okay, Cosmo, Wanda, we need some sculpting tools here. What do you think? How about a hammer that's almost too big to lift? Good thinking, Sweet Pea. You're always one step ahead. You got that right. You guys make one big mallet. Find big blocks of stone, then hit them to knock them into pyramids. And I bet, now that we're a mallet, you could knock the ground by the guards and they'd fall over. I'm feeling seismic. I love you guys. You know just what a growing boy needs. Mommy! He's not here, Cosmo! Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> the old ones are the best, right guys? I bet these mummies fall over if I whack the ground near them, just like anyone else. Now this is what I call sand. It's what everyone calls sand, Wanda, except Egyptians who call it three wavy lines. And look, the pyramids. I mean, the squaremids. We still have to get these Egyptians into the pyramid vibe. Let's get sculpting, or at least bash it with a hammer. 
All that hammering has worn me out. You should try being the hammer. I'm fine. Gonna cause more hammer a lot more, I bet ya. Yeah. But I think we did it. The Egyptians seem very interested. With a little fairy magic, we should be able to see what will happen. Yes! Look! They took the bait! They're gonna alter the squarements to pyramids! We did it! Ah, uh, no time to sign our names. Two circles coming together spells Cosmo in Egyptian. Swept through time like a leaf in the wind. How irritating. Oh, don't worry, hon. Just think of Vicky's grade point average after this. Okay, guys. When are we now? Hmm. Nice architecture. This seems like a really cool time. Oh, is it Canada? Ancient Canada? I'm guessing Canada. I'm usually right. Sorry, Cosmo. According to Vicky's homework, we're in Greece. Ancient Greece. Hence the smell of cleverness. Yep. It's well known that ancient Greeks were especially brainy. Ooh, then I'll fit right in. Let's see. What has Vicky messed up here? Well, she has the Greeks eating fine food and drinking fine wine, which seems okay, but... Oh, no. She says here that the ancient Greeks hated sports. But the Greeks practically invented sports. Their games are world famous for sporting excellence. Are you sure the Egyptians didn't invent sports? They invented a lot of things. I know, I was just there. We have to turn these Greek gourmets onto sports, guys, or I'll never get to see another Super Bowl or World Series again. And that I cannot allow. He's not... He doesn't look like much of an athlete, does he? You think I'm gonna have to avoid people again? Well, better safe than sorry. Don't look at us, Mr. Guard. We're not here. What's the plan, guys? Same as usual, hon. Let's wish. Uh, I kind of meant, what am I going to wish for? It's me. That's your job, Timmy. So as far as you care, I can wish for something stupid, like a hammer or a cheese eel. One hammer and one chisel. Now let's find some statues. Good wish, hon. We're proud of you. Wow! The Greeks have really taken the sports! Wow! They should do this every four years! Does that fix all of Vicky's tampering with time, Jimmy? I think so. Which means... Time to go! Goodbye, ancient Canada! I love you! It's Greece! Greece! Yeah, Greece! Greece is the word! It's got groove and it's got meaning! Greece is the time! It's the place! It's the motion! Okay, I'm leaving now. Don't do that! Whoa, I only just got back and you're already at DEFCON 4. If you mess up my history homework, Timmy Turner, I'll kick your butt and any other part of you my leg will reach. Hold on, haven't we been here before? Yeah, you always show up to annoy me just when it's time to relax. You finished your homework then? Yes, I have, and it's all correct. I am a genius. So all my answers must be correct. I'm not so sure. No, Timmy. Don't make her wish the same wish again. Looks like we got back before we left. Be careful. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong. Oh, no. You're right. A genius can't be wrong. I agree with you completely. I've been all through time and space, and Vicky is still the dumbest person I've met. I hate school, and I can't believe we have to go on a Saturday. It's all Vicky's fault. She has extra classes, and because she's my babysitter this weekend, I have to go to school, too. It's so unfair. Ah, uh, she'll probably make some dumb wish, too. At least that would give us a chance to find more pages of the rules. That's if my teacher, Crackpot Crocker, doesn't detect the wish power and try to get it for himself. Ooh, I don't like him. Adults shouldn't believe in fairies. It's madness. And he won't stop until he proves that we exist. I don't want to be proved. Out of the way, twerp. You're standing in my spot. Ah! Timmy Turner, you creep. You planned that. You didn't have to stand there. You just got unlucky. I'm always unlucky. I wish you got all my bad luck for a day. Then you'd see how difficult my life can be.
Did you hear that? Bad luck, she said. That Timmy Turner doesn't know what he's in for. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we are, in school, on a Saturday. How could life possibly get any worse? Ah, it's creepy here. It feels empty, with a silence that I don't like. All the other kids are at home, hon. Probably having fun. Ah! No! What's wrong with you guys? Yeah! Timmy! We're in trouble! That was unlucky. That's what we're trying to tell you! The school is full of anti-fairies. They bring bad luck. I can't see anything. Here, try these. Hello, Timmy Turner. You know, you're quite famous in the fairy world. We've always wanted to play with you. Back! Back, evil anti-fairies! Oh no! Anti fairies in the school and us with no powers! I smell Vicky! Worse still, if Mr. Crocker finds the anti fairies, he can use them to prove his theory! We have to catch the anti fairies before he notices them! We have no choice but to look for wish stars! We're gonna need wishes to get out of this one! Now we can arm ourselves against the anti fairies! Oh, wish for a halibut! Or maybe a herring! Mm, something a little less fishy, please. I wish for an anti-fairy capture device. Available from all good retailers. And on the internet. Whoa, nice one, guys. It's a lucky horseshoe-powered anti-fairy magnet. It's a magnetotronoid. You can use it anytime we're near an anti-fairy. Try it on me. Don't try it on me. I'm ticklish. If you keep the anti-fairy snagged in the beam for long enough, you'll capture it. Yeah, and once they're captured, they're under your control. They like bad luck? I'll give them bad luck. So, you made it this far. But this is the end of the line for you. Say your prayers, Auntie Fairy. Yeah, this is the end of the line for you. You already said that. only mean one thing. We are not alone! Shh! Let's hide here and wait. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's only... Fairies! Fairies! Yes! Yes! Fairies! It must be fairies! Fairies! <laughs> it's Crocker, all right. And he's still obsessed with fairies. Oh, we can't be caught! Jorgen von Strangle is angry enough already! I'm not scared of Crocker or Jorgen! No! Wait! Yes, I am! I'm terrified! Don't worry, I'll just avoid Crocker while I collect more wish stars. We'll help! We can create a magic device that will warn you of how close Crocker is. That's right. If the Crocometer is green, you're safe. If it turns orange, Crocker's getting close. And if it turns red... Run! Run! Do you hear me? Run! We've got enough power for a wish, Timmy. We need some speed. There are still two anti-fairies left, and we have to get to them before Crocker does. We have to pass through the school sports fields and parking lots next. I wish for some super sneakers to make our progress easier. Sounds like fun. Whoa, cool spring shoes. I thought you'd like them. Oh, you'll jump higher now. Much higher. Excellent. Let's try them out. This is going well. Aha. Stepping on cracks in the sidewalk is really unlucky. But, I shall dispense with the opportunity to put your mother in traction, and instead try and get you to break your back, little boy! No, <laughs> You make me mad! Drat, you passed my little playground obstacle course and your spine is still in one piece! I wasted a crack stepping for this! I am so gonna suck you into my magnet! Go on, Timmy! 
Yeah! He said anti-fairy what it means to mess with a kid who has fairy godparents, even if there was no work because of some accident with the rules and an evil babysitter is summoned by the anti-fairy. I'll just go on. Oh, that sounds familiar. It's Crocker again. And look at all these doors. He could be behind any one of them. Ah, fairies! No, no, no fairies here. They must be somewhere. Where are the fairies? <laughs> we'll reactivate the Crocometer. It should give you some warning if he's close. Do you remember the colors? Of course I do. Green is safe. Orange is beware. Red is run like heck. And purple means answer hazy. Ask again later. Now let's finish charging our wand! Ugh, I want to get away from this corridor as quickly as possible. We also need to open up those locked doors ahead. Well, the solution's obvious. It is? It is? Gimme, if you would. The wish? Um, I wish for... whatever Cosmo's thinking of. No! It's not safe in Cosmo's head! Very powered jet boots! Awesome! I have a foot inside me! Isn't it great? Kinney, we'll zoom you forward. You just concentrate on moving left and right and dodge stuff, okay? Sure, Cosmo Boots! Let's jet! You know what that means. That's right. Seven years, count them, of bad luck. <laughs> it's the fairy anti-final. The final fairy anti. The anti-final fairy. The final anti-fairy. Catch me if you can. Timmy Turner? But how? A kid like you should have been terrified of my book-based bad luck. I'm not scared of your books or your luck. Prepare to be magnetotronoided. Let that anti-fairy have it, Timmy. No! Keep it for yourself and use it! Oh, I see. Sorry. The janitor's room? That's funny. I didn't know we had a janitor. Ooh! A phone booth! Let's call Timmy! I guess you should answer that, Timmy. You better look around first. Underground cave? Beneath the school? How quaint! How do we get out? There's no way back! I guess we go forward! So this is Crocker's secret fairy catching lair. And his new super secret fairy detecting and catching van. Wow, you know a lot. Hey, let's let the air out of his tires. Now, Cosmo, we shouldn't be encouraging such antisocial behavior. I've got a better idea. Since these anti-fairies are under our control now... There! One anti-fairy with my compliments! That'll keep Crocker off our backs for a while! Wow, that was one long, weird day at school! Oh no, it's Crocker! Boy, is he in for a surprise! No! <laughs> my beautiful van! I guess Crocker's fairy catching van caught a fairy after all, but not in the way he expected.
Did you enjoy your extra day in school, twerp? Actually, it was a refreshing change. Oh, no. Not this time. Ha! Served you right. Okay, that does it. Aha! Uh -huh, a babysitter. They're always fun. That was a great day! Yeah, we kept Fairy World a secret, beat the anti fairies, and collected some pages of the rules. Some milk, perhaps, to strengthen my bones. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I got you good, Timmy. Please don't do that. What are you doing here? Your babysitter is my big sister, silly! I know that, but why are you here? Because I love you, of course, and I'll always be here for you. And anyway, I had to walk Vicky's dog, Doidle, today. I love dogs. I'm gonna get one of my own. Uh, Tootie! Yeah. Are you okay, hon? We heard barfing noises! So we came to watch! Hey, you guys can't interfere with true love, right? That's one of the rules! That's right! So, can you tell if Tootie really does love me? It's a sickening thought that I'd like to put behind me. Ah, uh, it's possible, hon, but I doubt it! Kids tend to be in love with their pets and their parents until they grow up! And their godparents, of course, especially if they're as lovable as me! Well, that's a relief, I guess. Now, back to that milk. If everything's okay, we'll go back to our bowl. Yeah, I was in the middle of some serious swimming. I think there's some parts of the bowl I haven't even seen yet. Twerp. Hi, Vicky. Cutie said she scared you good. <laughs> ah, Timmy Turner's scared of my little sister. It's only natural to be afraid of your family, Vicky. Most people agree that avoiding you is sensible. Oh, that is so not true. We're very popular, especially me. You're so irritating. It's my job to make sure you earn your overinflated babysitting money. You annoy me so much. Why can't you be easy to babysit? I wish you were as easy and fun to take care of as my lovely doggy Doido. Oh no, when will I learn? Even if Vicky doesn't know she has magic powers, she's too dangerous to mess with. Woof. Timmy, where? Oh! Oh, a sweet little puppy! Hello! I'm Tootie. What's your name? Wolf Wolf! I'm on my way to the mall, little doggy. Would you like to come with me? Wolf Wolf! I'm gonna call you Timmy, after my soon-to-be boyfriend. You can be my doggy. We'll be together always, I promise. I love you so much. <laughs> Don't run away! Come back! Well, hello there, little fellow. I hear the pet store is looking for fine animals like yourself. <coughs> this is fun! But we're not doing anything, Sugar Lump! I'm exploring! Hey, where'd Timmy go? Let's go find him! I'll hone in on his familiar Timminess! <laughs> woof, 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 woof! This isn't Timmy, it's an adorable little puppy dog! But, wait! Look at him! Isn't there something Timmy-ish about him? Now that you mention it, there's only one thing as adorable as this dog, and that's Timmy! Or a monkey! I love monkeys! Oof! And Timmy's been a dog before! Oh dear! I have a bad feeling about this! Look, Lollipop, I had an idea that other time Timmy was a dog, and I poofed this up, just in case! Ooh, that's impressive, Sweetums. What does it do? Cosmo Wanda, you've got to help. Hey, that's my voice. Oh, my. It's a doggy translator. You're my hero, sweetie. Yeah, I know. Well, what are you waiting for? I wish I was a human again. Sorry, hon, but something's wrong. I don't think we're that short on power. Uh, maybe someone is in love with the Timmy dog. We can't use magic to interfere with true love. Oh no! I bet it's Tootie, Vicky's little sister! She said she loved me, so I ran away and got captured and sold to this pet store! Then we have to convince her not to love you, which might be difficult because you're so cute! So you can't turn me back into human unless I make Tootie fall out of love with me! Also, I have to escape the pet store and the whole mall! What a horrible situation! 
Let's escape and we'll think about how to make you unlovable as we go. We should shave all your fur off. Then you'd be bald. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you'd be ugly. Well, all ideas are useful, dear. You keep trying. Woof! Woof! Cosmo, the gadget! Too dark to see past here. What am I gonna do? Make a wish, Dinny. We can't make you human because Tootie is in love with your doggy form, but we can do other stuff. Okay, then. I need to be able to see in the dark. There you go, puppy. We've given you doggy night vision. Hey, your eyes glow. It's actually kind of scary. So, puppy. Don't call me puppy. Uh, what are you gonna wish for, Fido? Don't call me that either. I'm still Timmy. We need some way to quickly search them all. Uh, I know. I wish I could fly. This is so cute. When you jump and then jump again, your little tail will spin. You can use it to hover for short periods. Try it. Well, I guess wings would look weird on a dog. We could probably escape them all from here. Hold on, Wanda. I might have a plan. I might have a plan, too. Then again, it could be dandruff. There's a health and beauty salon beyond the food court. With mud baths. Oh, good idea, hon! Let's go there! Ah! The food court! My favorite part of the mall! The salon isn't far from here! I'll throw myself in the mud baths and make myself disgusting! Nothing can stop me now! Timmy, there you are, you very bad, very cute little dog! Come to Tootie! I guess I barked too soon. Whoa! Need a wish! Think, doggy brain! Ah, uh, I'll try! Maybe we could tunnel into the salon! Good idea! I wish that my doggy digging power was superhuman! Uh, super canine! You can't dig through the floor here! You'll have to find something softer! Look for pink flowers and pots! That's the place to dig! I want to concentrate on making Tootie love me less, but all I can think about is finding a bone to bury! <laughs> Tootie, where are you? Here's Timmy! What's the matter? Don't you love me? Ugh, that puppy's all filthy! Woof, woof! Stop or I woof! Oh, no, no! Good doggy! Ah, you horrible dog! I don't love you! You're a bad, bad, dirty little dog! Woof! Oh, good job, puppy! So, let's see if it worked. I wish I was human! All back to normal! Yeah! I'm me again! Uh, little pink hat and everything! I guess even love can be foiled by an effective smear campaign! remember there being a door here before. It's a door to Fairy World! We must have found all the pages of the rules! Yippee! That was fun! Can we do it all again? No! No! We're back in Fairy Court! Who are you? The narrator? Oh, oh! Can I be the narrator? Cosmo and Wanda have helped Timmy recover all of the pages of the rules. And now everything is great, and we get to have fun and go on slides and eat cake. Silence! Um, is it okay if I talk? Oh, of course, Your Honor. I was only talking to these sniveling worms. Timmy Turner, Cosmo and Wanda, you have recovered all but one of the pages of the rules. But I thought we got them all. All except the table of contents page. And according to fairy legal statute, 3,483,707 subsection ZZA, paragraph one and a quarter, that one page is all Vicky needs to keep Cosmo and Wanda's wish powers. There must be a way for Timmy to appeal! But Timmy's appealing to everybody! Your only chance to avoid losing your fairy licenses forever is to take the ultimate challenge! All right, I'll do it! Very well. Take it away, Jorgen! Silence! Round the audience! Good evening and welcome to the ultimate challenge. Tonight on the show, this puny weakling will attempt to restore the powers and fairy license of his godparents. Now you may cheer! 
Scrawny little Timmy Turner, the only way to emerge victorious is to make your opponent say, I wish I never took the book from Timmy. This will require you to activate the magic speech tiles in the arena. However, I doubt a weakling such as yourself will be able to manage this task. This is your ultimate challenge! And now, let us meet your opponent and arch nemesis, Vicky! Oh, I want TV! For legal reasons, Vicky will not be able to hear anything that any fairy says, and will be supplied with a free mind wipe after the show. Hey Timmy, it'll be easy with our help! And to ensure this is the ultimate challenge, Vicky will be turned into a dragon. <laughs> Makes my butt look a little big, though. Begin the ultimate challenge! The ultimate challenge is brought to you by Snack Brand Magic Wand, the ultimate one for the ultimate fairy. I'm gonna stop you, Black Twerp! Why and trick? I wish. I never. We did it! Your small amount of prowess has prevailed, Timmy Turner. Your fairy godparents are reinstated. You have beaten the ultimate challenge! Next time on the ultimate challenge, I will personally defeat 402 ogres using only my gigantic ego! You will watch it now! I mean, then! Is everything fixed? Can I wish again? Let's find out! Go ahead, punk. Make a wish. I wish I had cake. And I wish I was a cake. All is well with the world. Cosmo and I have our wish powers back. We got the rules back! And I have cake. Nothing could be sweeter. Who are you talking to, twerp? I heard voices. <sighs> I was having a wonderful dream. I was on a game show and I was trying to crush you flatter than a pancake. No one here, Vicky. See? Ah, there's my book. Ooh. Oh. Clap. Timmy, we're home. We didn't have loads of fun this weekend, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I, I think I swallowed something. Time to get paid, twerp. See you around, loser. Phew, that was a close one. Everything's back to normal at last. Took a little longer than usual this time. And no moral or anything. It just goes to show you there's nothing three friends can't sort out if they work together. You just had to do it, didn't you? <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> Why am I laughing? I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Uh, as always, don't forget to comment, like, rate, and subscribe. Please, please leave a like. It will really help the channel out. And don't forget to check out other content on my channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you and have an awesome day, guys.